Peggy 18. Rome lies dormant under the power of the Church. The cultural freedoms blossoming in Florence are a world away. Its citizens seek to evolve but are held back by poverty, pain, and fear. Armed guards patrol the streets and others watch the people from rooftops above. Rome has sunk into darkness, but help will soon arrive to wake the city from its slumber. In spite of the Vatican's presence, Rome has become an unholy place. Its citizens robbed, homes looted, prostitution is rampant, and hundreds of people are murdered. Control of the city is held by a few notorious men with questionable motives and intentions. These men frequent courtesans and the halls of the Pope. Bribes exchange hands for the pardon of the most heinous of crimes, and laws are changed at the whim of the highest bidder. Pope Rodrigo Borgia and his son Cesare, captain general of the papal army, govern Rome through oppression and violence. This is their city, the heart of their empire. But a change is coming. A new dawn approaches. A brotherhood of fighters, led by one fearless assassin, Ezio Auditore, will bring the light of the Renaissance to Rome. The city's underground, its mercenaries, thieves, and courtesans will join with Ezio to take down the Borgia, reclaiming the city district by district. As Ezio fights its oppressors and revitalizes its banks, businesses, and aqueducts. The same shops that Ezio brings back from ruin will show their gratitude to the Brotherhood by providing its members with tools and weapons for their missions. As the people of Rome fight to defeat a common enemy, a new era will emerge. The presence of the Brotherhood, both directly and indirectly, will transform the city of Rome and its people. Soon, Rome's citizens will unite with Ezio for an end to their suffering. As the very foundation of Rome is rebuilt and its people rally beside the assassins, the balance of power will shift and Rome will experience a renewal, a true rebirth, the beginning of a renaissance. <laughs>